Okay, so you've mastered mole-to-mole -mole stoichiometry. What now? Well, you see, in the real world, people don't measure things out in moles, and they're not calling up a chemical supply company and saying, hey, can I get a certain number of moles of product? No, they're going to order it in grams, or maybe even kilograms. So what we need to be able to do is a little bit of advanced stoichiometry, which involves multiple -mole problems as the middle part of it. But, well, let's just take a look and see how it goes. If you're not given moles, you're going to need to convert whatever you have to moles. If you're given grams, convert it to moles by dividing by formula mass. If you're given liters, convert it by dividing by 22.4 liters per mole. Then you're going to use the ratio. You're going to use that mole to mole problem solving technique. Then you're going to convert to the desired unit, liters or grams. Okay, if that sounds confusing, let's do an example. For the reaction N2 plus 3H2 forms 2NH3, how many grams of NH3? Now this is what we're trying to find out. Grams of NH3. That's our target. Okay, that's what we're trying to find out. Will be formed if 14 grams of N2, that's our given, are completely reacted with H2. Well, that, we just have to say that. What this is saying is we have enough H2 to do the job, so we don't care how much H2 there is. The first step before you can do the mole ratio is to convert grams of N2 into moles of N2. Then you can do the mole ratio. So your first step is to take 14.0 grams of N2 and divide by the formula mass of N2. Nitrogen has an atomic mass of 14.0 per nitrogen. So N2 would be 28.0 grams per mole. Grams cancel and leaves you with, well, 14 divided by 8, 28 is 0 0.5. Three sig figs, three sig figs, 0 0.500 0 moles of N2. Okay. Now, look at the ratio. 1N2, and we're looking for NH3, 2NH3. So, we have 0.5 of N2. How many moles of NH3 is that? So 0 0.500 divided by 1, the coefficient, equals x over 2, the coefficient of the NH3. Well, let's see. 0.5 times 2, that would be 1.00 moles of N2. Okay? You see what I did there? I just used the mole ratio. Once I found moles of N2, I just used the mole ratio to find moles of, wait, not N2. Who am I kidding? Geez, now we've got moles of NH3. And that makes sense, doesn't it? Because if it's a 1 to 2 ratio, whatever N2 I have, I should have twice as much NH3. 1 to 2, 0.5 to 1. So it works out beautifully. Now it says how many grams of NH3 will be formed. Well, we have moles of NH3, so our next step is to multiply by the formula mass of NH3. We already know that N weighs 14 and hydrogen weighs 1 apiece. So 14 plus 3 is 17.0 grams per mole. Well, okay, we're multiplying by 1. Who needs a calculator? 17.0, right? Because 3 sig figs, 3 sig figs. Yep, grams of NH3 will be needed. What does this mean from a practical standpoint? What this means is this. If you want to react 14 grams of nitrogen, with enough hydrogen to get the job done, you will make 17 grams of ammonia. Knowing how much reactant you have, you can predict how much product you're going to get in a unit that's easily purchasable. For the reaction N2 plus 3H2 forms 2NH3, how many liters of NH3 will be formed if 11.2 liters of N2 are completely reacted with H2? So once again, liters of NH3 is our target. And 11.2 liters of N2 is what's given. So our first step is to convert what's given, 11.2 liters, to moles. How do we do that? Divide by 22.4 liters per mole. That'll give us 0 0.500 moles. Now, what is this of N2? 
that's going to work itself out the same way the last problem did. The coefficient of N2 is 1, so 0.500 over 1, NH3. So, we're going to put this over 1, the coefficient, equals x over 2. And so let's see. That would again be, because that's 0 0.500 times 2, that would be uh, 1.00 moles. Okay, and once again, we're talking about <clears throat> N2 versus NH3. This is how much N2, that's how much NH3. Okay, great. Now we need to convert this to liters. Says how many liters of NH3? How do we convert to liters? We multiply by 22.4 liters per mole. And this will give us 22.4 liters of NH3. And what that means is that if we have 11.2 liters of nitrogen, we're going to make 22.4 liters of ammonia. Now, here is the really cool part about this. You notice here in the first part we're dividing by 22.4, and then when we're done, we're multiplying by 22.4. You know what? You don't even need to do this step. You can just set it up as a ratio if you want to. Notice it's a 1 to 2 ratio. Notice our answer isn't a 1 to 2 ratio. So if you've, got mole, if you've got liter to liter problems, you can treat them like a mole to mole problem because you're going to divide by 22.4 and then multiply by 22.4. If you're not comfortable with that, then by all means do it this way. 